Hi guys, happy Vlogmas day eight or nine. I kind of lost track. Um, but today I am going to do a what's in my makeup bag. Uh, the setup is really, it's kind of odd right now just because I don't really have anywhere that's like a good spot to film in my room with good lighting. Um, it's been kind of cloudy today, so so I decided this would be like a cute, fun little video to film. Also, um, all the makeup that I keep in my makeup bag is not everything that I own. I have like this um, bigger basket that I keep in my bathroom that just has like um, bigger palettes and like glitter eyeshadows and other little odds and ends that I don't use on a daily basis. Yeah, these are just like things that I reach for the most and that are my most favorite and that I find myself using most often. Sorry for my fan, it's really dusty. I have, oh my God, I can't say that because then people are just gonna be like, why don't you just dust it off? <laughs> wow, that's disgusting. They just changed the air bed the other day too. Actually. Okay, so this is my makeup bag and I'm pretty sure it's from Marshalls so I don't know if you can still get it anymore or if you can find one that looks like it. I don't know, you can probably find one that looks like similar to this or has a similar like material on Amazon or something but this is just perfect. It works for me. Separate bag. It just looks like this. It's super tiny and slim. This is by Morphe. I got it for Christmas um, a year ago for my mom. So I don't know if you can still buy it anymore. It's by Jaclyn Hill. It's the brush pouch. I'm pretty sure if you just look that up, they might still have a similar one. Um, so in here, I just keep all my brushes and just things that are like, slimmer. I'm going to jump right in to what is in my makeup palette so i'm going to try to go in order so basically like primers foundations mascara usually what i do in my makeup routine starting out this is the elf poreless putty primer i think this is the only primer that i have in here right now i just used up the Too faced born this way primer um that worked pretty well i i found that it didn't clog my pores as much i really don't use this one as much and as you can tell i haven't really like used it it's not what i was like expecting from a primer it's very liquidy and kind of runny but um it was pretty cheap so if you want you can try it out but i wouldn't recommend like putting this all over your face and then moving on to foundation i have been recently using the fenty beauty i got this mm, probably a month or two ago but i've been just using it recently just because it's been winter and i haven't been really tanning that much so um i've just been using it a lot and i think it works pretty well like it is definitely matte and i don't find myself getting oily throughout the day when i use it yeah i've just heard really good things about the rihanna collections and i'm in the color 260 and this is just the soft matte longwear foundation and i lost the lid to it compared to like other foundations i or other um, matte foundations i think this one works pretty well i have used the Too faced born this way and the um tart amazonian clay foundation i think those are pretty good as well but um yeah i haven't really i haven't really ventured out into higher end foundations but i definitely like this one um next this one i've been using a lot this one is a drugstore one this is the fit me matte and poreless um foundation and this is in the color 310 sun beige i've been through several colors but i find that this one matches me the most even though it is a little bit darker for my skin tone um when i tan i, I really don't really notice a difference this one was only like five dollars at the drugstore you can find it at target that's where i usually buy mine all right and then next moving on to concealers i have one high-end and one drugstore and i have the tarte shape tape i hopped on the bandwagon kind of late the only problem is i kind of got too light of a shade so i don't use it often and if i do i use the tiniest amount like super super tiny i don't know i just don't i don't reach for it often just probably because it's too light for me but it is amazing and um i definitely recommend I recently bought this again. I use this in high school. This is the Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline. I recommend taking off the sponge. I just don't really find myself using it a lot. And I just use my fingers and I just take a little bit because this one also goes a long way. But it's also full coverage kind of comparison to the Tarte one. Something I got mine at Target and they had a bunch of different shades. I definitely recommend the Age Rewind 
erased by Maybelline. Super good. So these are all my blushes. Um, a couple years ago, I did buy a pack during Christmas of these little mini size blushes by Benefit. I think they might still have them this year. Um, I just used a bunch and I got rid of a bunch too. And I got rid of one that I didn't use, but I think it came in like six and it's they were really awesome because it's their box blushes but they just come in these like mini plastic cases and these last me forever yeah i only have a couple with me now this one is in um the rock star and i don't use this one as much just because it kind of has like purple undertones but sometimes i do um next one is dandelion this one's a really light one yeah this one is broken but this one's a super super pretty natural one i don't use this one as much either just because it doesn't show up on my skin as much and then next is gold rush i used to use this one a lot i don't know why i stopped i think it's just because i have like other blushes that i use more but this one's also super good it's a lighter like orangier blush and then it has like gold shadows in it so i like that a lot just because it makes your face super shimmery next one i got i think i got this one uh, i don't remember when i think i got this one at ulta this is the nyx blush and it's in the color intuitive and it's their high definition blush this one is super super pigmented i use this one a lot i'm surprised i still haven't hit pan on it yet but it comes with a lot of product and this one is just like a deep deeper red and it has like gold reflex in it as well okay moving on to my next blush this one i use a lot too I find a resemblance in all the blushes that I have. A lot of them are pink with gold sparkles in them. I don't know if that's just popular with blushes or that's just something that I like. But this is the Fit Me Maybelline blush in Rose Claire, a lighter, rosier pink. This is the blush that I've been using a lot. I use this when I go out at night. I use it pretty much every day. I use it for work. This is the NARS blush in Super Orgasm. I know they have a really popular one just in Orgasm, but this one I have been using. Um, this one's actually comparable to the NYX one that I just showed you. So they're kind of similar in color, except this NARS one has a lot. Like they're, there's more chunkier gold glue. This one I have on today and it's just, it's just a really nice, gives you a really nice flush of pink. Next, moving on to bronzers and contours. This one my grandma actually gave to me. She buys a lot of Clinique makeup and then she gets like a lot of free like little bags that come with her purchases. And one of the things that came in one of the bags is this Clinique True Bronzer in the color Sunkiss. This one I've been using a lot. I'm really picky about my bronzers and contours just because some of them warm toned or some of them can be cool toned and I've more warm tone i think it just looks better on my skin and it doesn't like make me look as like flushed out and it, it just matches better overall so like it doesn't make you look too cakey or anything and it's just it's honestly it's a it's a pretty decent bronzer i got this super enormous palette from tj maxx i'm usually not a person that buys palettes from tj maxx or marshall's because i do know they sell higher end products but this one just really caught my eye and i was really in need of like a good contour but this one is the Too Faced Cocoa Contour. Um, so this is what it looks like. It just comes with six shades. The ones on top are highlighters. So, sorry, I'm going to try not to blind you guys. This one is a light highlight, medium highlight, and there's a deep highlight as well. I honestly don't use the top ones. All I use is the contour one. And there's a light contour, medium, and a deep. It's also amazing because of this large mirror. I use this a lot too. Moving on to highlighters. I've been trying to step up my highlight game and I saw this one when I went to TJ Maxx. I think I got it the same time I got my contour palette. And I like highlights that have a lot of sparkle in them. And I also really am into gold highlights. So when I saw this one, I thought it was perfect because it did have a gold highlight as well as like a really pinky one. It's by the brand Pixie, and I know they sell that at Target. They, they're usually kind of expensive, but I thought I decided to try it because I think this one was like $10 and I was like this color is beautiful and I was right I literally use this every single day sometimes I put it in the inner corner of my eye like I have right now and it just brightens up my eye and I will just use them on my cheeks sometimes I mix them together or I'll just use the gold one but it's seriously amazing this is in the color delicate dew I'm 
I'll definitely try to find like a dupe for you guys if you want me to. Um, next, I just have my eyelash curler. Next, I guess leading on to that is mascara. And this one is an OG. This is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. I've tried so many. The telescopic one is pretty good too. There's like every single day and I always get the color blackest blue. If I do want kind of a more dramatic look, I'll use the Clinique High Impact only because this one has a super thick brush on it. So it really does give me like a super dramatic effect and it makes it look like I'm wearing like false eyelashes. I'm wearing it today. Sometimes I mix them together just because of the brush differences. Okay, so in the past I have been using dip brow i do still use them quite frequently but i have been using a new product i'll show you guys and if this one is the maybelline or not maybelline milani the dip brow one i don't know it it does dry out fast a lot of them do dry out fast like the anastasia one i used to buy that one frequently too it always dried out on me like after two months this one is a cheaper alternative i guess it used the most this is the elf in medium brown and this one's only like three dollars really really good it's super pigmented and recently i've been using this is the benefit brow contour pro and it's i honestly don't know how to describe it it's just basically a pen i don't know if you guys use those pens in elementary school that have a bunch of different colors on it but i feel like that's what they were going for five five different shades but it's all in one pen and it's pretty genius if you ask yeah and so basically all you do is just you press the one that you want down and then this little part turns and it just gives you the amount that you want and it's perfect and it's just this little tiny pen and all you have to do if you want to like lift it back up so it doesn't dry out you just click another one you barely press it and the bottom of it comes back up also to spoolie out my brows i do use this little spool one but it works great for that last but not least in my makeup bag are a lip products so i really want to try the lip liner and the lipstick duo the charlotte tilbury and pillow talk i've heard a lot of people talk about that and i think the color is super pretty and it just looks like something i would use every single day i definitely want to invest in getting that because i feel like i'd you know grab for it all the time um yeah i'm just gonna get started what i have here i have the clinique and bear pop it's just their lipstick i don't use this one a lot but it is a really pretty color then i have these little duos these are the mini kylie lip uh, lipsticks or liquid lipsticks these are the mini liquid lipstick I did actually have her full size one and I didn't like it just because of the color. Well, I think it's just the color that I had. I don't even remember what it was called. It was in Candy K because I know they're popular. This one's really pretty. I just, I don't use it that much. Um, this one is in Charm. This one's a velvet. Oh, I didn't even know there, there were two different ones. That's probably why I don't like this one. It's because it's a velvet. This one's super soft. Um, this is a lip balm. This is Cocoa Butter's lip balm i use this one sometimes just because it has spf 15 and i use this sometimes before i put on my foundation just because my foundation doesn't get on my lips um next i have the maybelline vivid matte liquid lipstick and it's just like a dark purple color but it's matte as well um i use this one a lot this is the nivea lip balm and i don't know the color of it but i know they have them they sell them at cvs these are my holy grails at and then this is one of my most recent purchases, but now I'm hearing that it's a dupe for the Fenty Rihanna lipstick or lip gloss. And this is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid Gloss, but I love it because of the brush. Like, look how huge this is. It's amazing. And it also smells like vanilla, but the color is just super pretty. Okay, so moving on with that, I have um, my brushes. I don't have a lot of brushes, but it's enough that I use every single day. Um, so the first one is this. It's a bronzer. It's a blush brush, I guess. I use it for pretty much anything. I have another Equal Tools brush. This one is a fan brush, but I just use this for blush and highlight. My next few brushes are Morphe brushes that came with the makeup pouch. This one is the Morphe J. H42. This is just kind of a tinier brush. I use this for the inner crease of my eye. And then this one is the JH41 um, eyeshadow brush. And then this one is a blending brush. This is the JH32. This is the JH33. And then this one's the 30. 
I think I have like more somewhere, but I think they're just in my bathroom. They're ones that I don't use as often. And then I just pretty much keep like little tiny stuff in here, like little eyebrow trim. I have little blemish tools in here. I totally forgot about this. I don't wear eyeshadow a lot, which is surprising. I just don't wear it as like an everyday thing. If I do have like something special that comes up work, I will put on eyeshadow, but um, usually I reach for the Too Faced Natural Eyes. This is like their OG and this gold one I use a lot too. And it's in the color Honey Pot. You can find, I'm pretty sure at any Ulta store. It's, um, I don't know if they still have it. They might, it is, it's pretty old, so.